what is up whale shares it is time for me to do my fifth blog video so i basically did my first whale steak power up so i bought 17 um, wls which is short for uh, whale steak so i bought i bought that for i think five bts each and uh, then I sent to um, I sent it to an account at Rudex, and then they sent it over to my to my account to my WellShares account, and I, and uh, I was able to power it up basically. So they sent me the liquid tokens, and then I could basically power it up. So this is how it looks right now. So I don't have any liquid. WLS I only have whale stake 17 and I should say so you can also see I have some um, whale stake power right now that I could uh, vote with and every time you vote it goes down by 2% and I think yet when you have enough whale stake you get a uh, slider bar I think uh, okay so there's one thing uh, I want to say or a few things a few things that I have seen so I did buy another 13 whale steak on Rudex and I, I tried to send it over to my account around five hours or six hours ago and uh, it didn't happen as fast as the first time where it just happened in one minute or two minutes so I think that so I sent it around 5 a.m. in the morning. So maybe uh, that's, it seems like it's a manual process that a person has to, has to uh, send it over, uh, which can be a potential issue in the future if you can't uh, automate this process. So um, that is something that sort of worries me at the moment if it takes a couple of hours after you've done a trade to basically get it inside of your account that can be a, a potential issue so i hope that that gets sort of uh, fixed so i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna keep a look out to see if i if i see these 13 wls show up in my account so yeah because i mean uh, th that can be a really really critical thing when uh, you're trying to make this decentralized um, systems uh, you want to try to do them as you want to things that things as transferring funds uh, is such a critical part that sort of needs to just work like sort of instant because uh, that's just we're starting to live in a real-time world and it should kind of work as block trades where you just do a send and it just shows up right so I hope that that is something that is going to be worked on so right now the only way to get or the only exchange where you can get whale shares is Rudex so it's only one gateway that you can use right now so um, that can be a potential concern concern in the future if there are not more ways to basically transfer it and if there is a human that is kind of had to manually transfer your funds that can be a potential future problem but I think that that uh, will be solved eventually uh, some other observations is the sign up system right now it costs like $15 to get an account or there is um, some kind of waiting time uh, which uh, I'm not really sure what is uh, going on with that uh, but I've seen some people get an account fast and then some other people they're still waiting so it's kind of like steam in a way uh, which is also one thing that sort of worries me right now is if if sign up how will sign up be in the future 
will it be faster and uh, and w will it basically be instant that is i guess something that th that is also like uh, so the first one transferring funds from for example rudex uh, if if it's a human person that also works as a gateway that has to do things manually uh, that is a little bit worrying I would say and as well as sign up if that is also some person that has to manually work as a gateway I see both these two things as potential problematic things for scaling basically and obviously scaling is something that the whole blockchain industry is sort of struggling or maybe coping with like how how you can basically scale things i mean it, it's a big thing with uh, ethereum and all these networks uh so it would be nice to see more transparency about that how that's gonna work in the future basically if there are any big plans for making funds to be able to move them in in an easier way and uh, then i also have so how power dump works is sort of like an interesting uh, interesting that i the way i saw it work on whale shares so the way it works is um uh, the amount of inflation if basically when inflation is high in the beginning uh, with the wear shares tokens then you can only power down a small amount but uh, so you get you get a higher reward in uh, in uh, well shares basically in in the beginning uh, but you but you can't power it down so it is sort of like an interesting uh, interesting way of uh, doing things because what it does is it slowly uh, lets out uh, whale shares out on the market obviously uh, people may not sell of course people may just hold on to the coins but it is an interesting model that is going to be interesting to observe if, if, it, if it works basically and uh, some other concerns is obviously if it is possible to scale something like this when um, when uh, when liquidity is so low so right now with the power down it's only around seven thousand uh, seven thousand coins that gets released weekly so it's going to be interesting to see how the market uh, responds to that and um, basically how big of a how many people you can involve in a community like that and if the price uh, of the token would come in at a good price or if there can be some potential bottlenecks for example if people just hold on to the coins and then nobody basically want to sell that can be a potential bottleneck if you want to if you want to scale it basically like if you want to have hundreds or thousands of people in but there's not really that many coins to get and the, and the price is kind of low and uh, the buyers and the sellers there's if there's too big of a gap between where, where people are willing to basically pay and sell for then that can be a potential bottleneck it's probably one of the biggest things my biggest concern that i have right now about whale shares if if it, if there will be enough coins uh, available out on the market basically because if there's only a small drip out the question is if it is too slow of a drip out of coins uh, on the market if uh, if other platforms can come in and compete uh, much uh, basically take over market share because they used to have more liquidity so uh, liquidity is a big thing 
it's going to be a very very big thing in the big thing in the future where like coins like xrp it's going to have billions of coins and even a, a blockchain like the steam blockchain where it's going to be a billions of coins eventually with all these smart media tokens uh, i'm curious if whale shares have any strategy for creating liquidity and uh, if there's any d app uh, outlook if because I, if you can create coins that are also paired with WLS, same as Steam is trying to do, that would be, um, I don't know, it, it would be interesting. I'm not exactly sure uh, what you can do with whale shares, if there's a lot of limits or if there's basically anything's possible, it just needs more developers or if there are internal limits, I don't really know. That's why I use drop stuff out there. So I'm curious if there will be real D apps and yeah. So, but liquidity is my biggest thing that I am wondering about because I feel that in a year or two when other, uh, other projects is going to have way more liquidity they might just take over completely, basically. But um, I see how this whole system uh, with BitShares, with Steam, EOS, how they have a similar way to work, even though they're still very, very different. But it, it seems like if one thing grows a lot, for example, EOS, then it would benefit all these other networks that are very similar like the steam blockchain and uh, like um, like whale shares so just just some quick thoughts there and if we go to rudex right now and just have a look at what people are willing to pay you can see that there's there's pretty strong here buy-in people want to get the one wls they're ready to pay three bit shares or 2.4 bit shares but kind of around three to two range and you can see the people you used at the moment just want to sell for around seven bit shares there was some earlier ones at around five bit shares and some at four but i am curious if the market stands still like this a very very long time and if there is no real movement, no real liquidity, can you actually then have a functional marketplace? Can you have a functional economy if uh, things are kind of slow on the market? How can you bring a more vibrant market basically if you have a scarce supply of coins? Now, I don't know really, I don't know, maybe it can work, I don't really know, but I'm curious with scale and a little bit that I talked about in this video about gateway uh, keepers kind of around the sign up process and uh, and uh, on the exchange side and obviously I know that this is a new project so I know that this is probably going to be fixed but I still like to drop out my my, my impressions basically because I feel that a lot of new users probably thinks about the same sort of things as me because frequently asked questions usually people have people sort of thinking and considering the same sort of things so it would be nice if there are deeper some deeper um, uh, some deeper information about this because I'm genuinely curious I have been enjoying my few short days basically on whale shares and uh, I don't know I I like to observe different governance models because I can learn so much by different governance models so EOS has a specific governance model Steam blockchain has a specific governance model where shares have also a different governance model it's interesting to observe all of these models and be involved in them all to see which one is the best, which one, ha which one yields the best results 
for creating communities and stuff like that and there's so many nuances so the only way to really get a feel for for a platform or, or for something uh, is to get involved sort of in it and uh, as i've seen uh, they do these uh, bitchers uh, and eus talks sometimes uh, we'll talk a little bit about yeah ethereum i mean is it even doing anything right now at least like this graphene uh, blockchain system they are sort of doing something i mean they have some something that is working right now and ethereum I, I tried to send some ethereum the other day and the transaction failed and that was like the first time in history i've had a blockchain transaction that just randomly fail and uh, that was so strange because that's something that never has happened on the steam blockchain for example so um it's early a lot of things are going to change but yeah it's it is interesting right so yeah some quick thoughts here and uh hopefully you enjoyed have a great day everyone on whale shares bye, -bye.